Not allowed to work from home so I don't. My job recently told me that even during the snowstorm we got earlier this week, I am not allowed to work from home at all. Even though I work in IT and do everything remotely, they want me in the office. So I deleted Teams and my email off my phone. I am no longer available after hours. My boss tried to call me for something urgent last night and couldn't reach me. He asked why today and I explained to him what I was told. I am not allowed to work from home. Edit holy shit this blew up I had a talk with my boss today and he said it's very important I be accessible for emergencies so he compromised with me and I can now work from home two days a week of my choosing. It's a victory. Hey you're just demonstrating your ability to take direction. Told my boss last year if you're not accommodating enough to pay me to work from home then why would I be silly enough to work from home for free? Haven't received an after-hours call from her since. Employer no one is allowed to work from home ever. Also employer due to inclement weather, everyone is to work from home today. Also employer we need your assistance on an issue now. Also employer so what if you're sick? You can work from home. Malicious compliance at its finest. Ha. Huh. I did the same thing. I deleted my company outlook from my phone. When one of my bosses asked me how is he supposed to get in touch with me, I said just call. But when they call, I let it go right into voicemail. I'll answer the call when I get into the office. You'd think managers would be smart enough to realize by now that if you give a little flexibility, you might get a lot of flexibility in return. Maybe he would be open to an on-call contract where you get paid an hourly rate to be available after hours. P. Your first mistake was putting Teams on your personal phone. Fuck that. If Corpo wants Teams on your phone, they should be paying for the phone and for being on call. Our malicious compliance would like that. Malicious compliance. You're told you can't work from home. Once you're home, you're not working. How hard is that for you boss to get? At my last job there was a bad snowstorm, the manager would come in at 4.30 and he lived 10 minute drive and say it's fine, I got here no problem. So you would have to find someone to watch your kids home from school when you could have worked all day and then some. And frankly it took you so long to get in, and to leave early because the roads were shit, that they really were shooting themselves in the foot. My new manager do whatever you need to do. Thus I work extra time, take calls late and my days off. Flexibility goes both ways. Good job. After living in the UK for 20 years I'm still amazed at the ridiculous US work culture. Over here, in an IT job, no boss would ever consider contacting you outside of hours. I'm contracted for a 35-hour week and that's all I do. We worked from home all through the pandemic but now they want us in three days a week, or at least the US head office does. People have been leaving in droves because of it. My work tried to require me to put my work email on my phone. I said no, but they could get me a work phone and pay me to be on call after hours. I never heard about it after that. That's just the default in France. It's illegal for an employer to contact you after hours. 1,500 euro fine per instance. Edit typo. A friend and colleague I was working with at a fairly large manufacturer was sent off on a business trip overseas. This was early days of mobiles but still many people had them but were not company issued to many, there were pool phones so he asked his manager for one for the trip and got turned down to much of a perk shakes head told use your personal mobile. While away he was required to attend a long teleconference, maybe they forgot he was away. He dialed in internationally from his hotel, once the dust settled he got issued with a company mobile. Yes good for you what was your boss's reaction? Love this. I wish more people would pull this glorious shit. My buddy and I are in our 40s and he's been hiring a team of new developers in their 20s and 30s. He said that on their first day the majority say no to installing Teams or Mail on their personal phones. Good. 4. 
them. Our malicious compliance. Man I'm sorry. I also work in IT and am allowed two days a week I can work from home and if there's something that comes up I can do so more than that. Good on you for this. Outstanding move sir. Pre-COVID, we were pretty much forced to sign telework agreements that only applied in bad weather. There were no options for personal circumstance other than disability. This was the same organization who left us without a first-line supervisor for over a year and then a second line for over six months at the same time. So, the telework agreement had an expiration date so I made it six months to coincide with the end of the year. Before winter. I didn't telework when the base was closed for snow ice and most everyone else followed suit. Good for you. Bet your boss job didn't mean it the way you took it. LOL face with tears of joy. Our malicious compliance. Better way would be promptly answering their call and saying that you don't work from home. This will show that you're capable of help but can't. Brew same here everything I do is remote but they need me on site unamused face. Need a follow up on this one. I love the malicious compliance. Can I ask what your boss's response was? Love it rules are please pot again on how things work out. Reminds me of the company I left a few years back. Living in the northwest snow and rain is very common so this was an issue for a while. One day the CEO said no working from home no matter what. If you can't drive in the snow rain call him and he will Uber you. And he wasn't joking, it was ridiculous. As a systems guy at the time I can literally do my whole job from home but he was so old school and hated that idea. Our malicious compliance. I like having the option to work from home or go into the office as I see fit. I go in a lot because it's easier to focus there sometimes, but I quit my last job because they tried to make it mandatory that we come into the office. It amazes me how much companies really don't realize that we don't care that much anymore and we're only as loyal as they incentivize us to be. Straight up. I work from 8.30 to 5, Monday to Friday. I don't have my work email or Teams on my phone, if I take my work laptop home to do working from home, I don't open it until 8.30, and I close it at 5. I do my work within the hours I'm being paid, outside of it, I don't. Simple as that. Well played. Curious as to what the boss said. Not all heroes wear capes. I hope they promote you for your excellent ability to follow directions. They should be lavishing praise on you for following the company standards they had set forth. Excellent. Malicious compliance. I wish I did this a much earlier in my sysadmin days, 45k on call 24 7 50 80 hour work weeks. Should have said you pay me 9 5 that's it. I thought everyone did this. Thieves think everyone else is a thief as well. Perfectly valid malicious compliance. Well well well, if it isn't the consequences of their actions. Nice are malicious compliance. You brilliant sob I love it. Unless they give you a work phone do not have any work stuff on your personal device. Are not lick at that. I was offered to work remote. I told them I would rather come into the office IT support. I get pissed at the stupidity of callers and the stupidity of some management but at the end of my shift, I am done. I don't get paid enough to get pissed off in my own house. Plus, if it snows bad enough for them to close the office, it's a paid day off for me. Everyone else has to work if they are remote. I win. Now find another remote job and quit showing up to this one and see what happens. Got M. Brilliant move. You make good decisions 3. Fucking A. Malicious compliance. I love it.